Hello everyone. Today I wasn't planning on making a video, but I couldn't help but feel the love in the air and the passion in my pants. So I hope you guys like romantic tales, because you'll be dwelling on this one for quite some time. This story takes place back in elementary school, back when I had some of my earliest crushes, and you would still give valentines to every kid in the class. So I had this one particular girl on my radar, and I decided this is the time, this is my moment to profess my love to this girl. Now I was already thinking like five steps ahead, like where would we go on dates on the playground? Where would we find a secret place to hug? Because you, you don't want to get caught hugging, right? That's basically like the equivalent to third base for elementary school. But then I came back to reality, and I was just sitting there with my Spongebob theme to Valentine's, a marker in hand, and a heart full of passion and love. Now this is where I'd like to cut out a few details, but I'm just going to be honest with you guys. There were quite a few girls on my radar at the time. But basically, I decided to make a few valentines a little more special than the rest. So in a few of these valentines, I had decided to put a nude photograph of myself inside the- I'm just kidding, alright? Relax. It's a, it's a joke. Basically, all my cards were the same, but for the girls I liked, I decided to dot the I in my name with a heart rather than just an ordinary dot. It was a masterpiece of a plan. I mean, for elementary school, an I dotted with a heart might as well have been a ring. But as quickly as I thought of this genius plan, it all came crumbling down. I had taken a break from writing these valentines, and without my knowledge, my mom came in and started putting the cards into the envelopes. So I don't know who got those cards, but hopefully they didn't get the wrong idea. And because of that one little mistake my mom made, I haven't been able to find love ever since. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tale, and have a happy Valentine's Day.